So just got in this brand new Model Y for our demo drive. It's a dual motor long range with 16 miles. The vehicle hasn't been detailed since it came off the truck. There's still uh, pre-delivery notes on the side of the pillars. Thing is dusty, like it's been sitting for a little while. Um, but I can't say that uh, I'm complaining. It's a really nice vehicle. I can already tell just by, by dealing with the, the various um, many functions that the newer processor compared to my 2018 Model 3 makes a huge difference in the response time. So that already is, is, is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to change a few of the settings to what I would prefer if this were my vehicle. So I prefer the sport steering, uh, standard acceleration. I, I'd like the stop mode to be hold. All right, so checking out the new, newish supercharger here in Irvine. Um, there's been a supercharger in this plaza for a while now, maybe over a year, but they we have recently expanded it to include um, several more spots. So we're gonna go check it out. There's, this plaza is anchored by a 99 Ranch. So while your car is charging, you can get some groceries. Um, so let's see what kind of chargers they have here. Yeah, let's get plugged in. All right, starting to charge. Um, let's go see how this looks on the service mode. <clears throat> go to high voltage, charging, and there you go. So it's like already up to 412 amps. So the battery's been preconditioning before we got here for maybe about 15 minutes, but as you can see, the battery's not that warm yet. So you can supercharge these cars as under a demo drive in case you want to know what it's like to supercharge a Tesla before you actually purchase one. I know that charging is probably one of the biggest anxiety inducing activities if you haven't owned an EV or a Tesla before, but if you want to just try it out yourself, you can, you can do so um, at Tesla's expense. Uh, you're actually helping them out because if you can get some um, charge before you actually return the vehicle, it helps them out during their test drives. But let's do a quick uh, walk around the vehicle before I return it. As you can see, it's a hardware 4 model. You can tell by the red tint on the lens of the uh, side camera. So this is my first time seeing this um, flip-up cover uh, Model Y from the factory. Seems to be a nice touch. Uh, and it seems strong enough to actually put stuff on top here. Let's see. It's got the same underfloor storage that you'd expect. Same as the Model 3. Uh, but I am noticing that you also have the, uh, the second compartment here that's a little bit shallower, but you can also put, other, you can also put things there. And so, if I understand it correctly, if you have a seven-seater Model Y, this is where this, the, the 
the two extra seats would go. You also have the cavernous compartments here on both sides. Yeah, just having this push button is really nice. This one's got the uh, induction wheels. Let's go see the back seat. Never actually played with the back seat of a Model Y before. So it looks like you can fold these down just with a simple depress of a button right here. It's not electromechanical, it's a physical button. Looks like you have a center console. It's very similar to a Model 3, except for the fact that the seats are kind of on like stands. Yeah, so they really delivered this. They really uh, gave me a car that hadn't even been um, detailed or cleaned from the factory. So you can see a lot of dust. Um, the seat belts are probably put that way from the factory. But nevertheless, a really nice vehicle. Um, really like how uh, you can just request a vehicle from Tesla and try it out at your leisure, see if it fits your lifestyle. So let's get out of the um, service mode to show you what kind of vehicle this is. It's a long range dual motor, it's about 30, 32 miles on the gauge. In terms of autopilot, it is hardware 4 and it's the full self driving beta is enabled on this vehicle but it's not available because of hardware 4. I guess at some point in the future when the, with a software update they're going to be able to enable that. Yeah, so if you are interested in testing out a Tesla vehicle of any type, um, you can go to your nearest service center, make an appointment before you go, and you can take one out for a few hours, or in my case, you can take it overnight, see if it fits in your garage, see if it fits your lifestyle, try supercharging it, um, take it around, do the things that you normally do, see if it works just like any other car. Um, it's the best way to get yourself familiar with Tesla, and uh, Tesla's so um, friendly and, and and uh, really open in terms of you trying it out. Um, you don't have a salesperson next to you while you're while you're driving. There's no pressure. You just return it. Um, in my case, the next day. So really happy about this experience. I had never driven a Model Y until um, this this um, experience, and um, it feels very similar to Model Three. In fact. I've seen on the forums people call the Model Y kind of like a Model 3 hatchback <clears throat> or like a an, like an overland version of a, of a Model 3. And in some respects, I can see that. I mean, it's, it rides a little bit higher, it's a little bit bigger, but it's still very familiar uh, if you're a Model 3 driver. Um, the screen's almost identical even to my Model 3 that's five years old now. Um, steering wheel feels a little bit more premium. I don't know if it's the materials. Seats also feel a little bit more cushy and I really do like this uh, redesigned center console um, and um, they definitely, you know, added some premium touches. This is a nice little trim here. It's different from, from my older Model 3. So yeah, uh, well, appreciate you watching up to this point and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.